Hello, my name is Caitlin Carroll and this is my social justice, social justice um, video discussion blog. Um, so I'm starting off, I think the main point to keep in mind for the entirety um, of the entire discussion is that counselors in nature are not um, all knowing. Um, they will, we will spend the rest of our lives um, constantly learning new things, new strategies, um, just constantly intaking information um, as we go. Um, rules, ethical principles, everything like that, medical advice changes over the years, so we will continue to learn and we will never know everything that we are. Um, we will never know everything, just in general. Um, starting off with cultural humility. Cultural humility, um, it's important for a lot of things because you have your culture and it's more than likely different than other people's culture. Um, being able to keep yourself humble, uh, essentially, when it comes to learning other people's culture is important from a counselor's point of view. We're not omnipotent. Um, and we have to, there's a process that is called reverse mentoring that's important um, with counselors. Um, it involves a counselor who is not completely informed, ignorant, if you will, um, on a particular culture, probably the culture that their client is from. Um, reverse mentoring is when that counselor and client relationship is open and they are able to have conversations and talk about the culture of the client um, in a productive way. Um, so there needs to be open mindfulness. Um, there needs to be respect for the culture. It also requires the client um, to be egoless in a, in a way, um, to be able to answer questions about their culture without being upset that maybe we don't know it. Um, and that goes a long way for anyone as well. Um, being able to ask questions in a respectful way uh, is very important for culture, cultural differences in general. Um, the biggest quote, well, one of the biggest scriptures that I can think of um, is Galatians 3.28, which says, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And that's incredibly important because even though there are different cultures, and even though these cultures do change from person to person, um, we are all still people, and we are all still just people under Christ. Um, having different cultures does not make any one person better than another. It doesn't make any one person more deserving of Jesus Christ than the other. Um, and the same goes for not knowing. Uh, not knowing a culture doesn't make you you know, a bad person or anything like that. We are all people and unlike Jesus Christ, none of us are all knowing. We just don't know and we, we only can learn. That's all we can do. Um, so plan of action. Um, the best plan of action that I can think of for cultural humility, honestly, is to be upfront with yourself uh, and essentially your client to admit to yourself and to your client that though I though I may know things and have information and knowledge, I do not know everything. Having said that, I would love the opportunity to learn more about you or the client's culture. Um, and if the client is willing to give that opportunity to learn, I could see how it would be a really good thing to create dialogue um, between the counselor and client. Um, or really just in general, you know, maybe you have a friend who is from a different culture that you're not from. Um, so plan of action is really just to be upfront and honest, um, to have some humility in yourself, you know, to understand that I don't know everything, but I want to. I not want to know everything, but I want to learn. Um, those are the best plans of actions that you can have is to be upfront, be honest with yourself and with your client. Thank you.